Welcome back to another video. As always, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let's get right into it. The Brooklyn Nets drama, like this whole crazy series, this Kevin Durant, KD, the saga continues because uh, we saw reports today that if Kyrie can't reach some kind of conclusion with his contract extension or whatever it is, he, he wants to be traded. He wants to be a part of a signing trade. And, uh, and then like immediately following that, we saw Kevin Durant. Uh, I, I'm not saying like KD said it himself, but it was reports that KD is weighing his options depending on what Kyrie do. So a lot of stuff going on. I feel bad for Ben Simmons because it's like Ben Simmons didn't even get a chance to prove himself. And I really wanted this. And I still do hope it works out because nothing has is set in stone yet. It's solid. But I really want this big three to work out because I really like I'm been, I've been a big advocate and a big fan that KD, Kyrie and Ben Simmons can actually work on the court. But if Kyrie leaves and then KD requests a trade, Ben Simmons will be there all on his lonely and like and like I just want Ben Simmons to get a chance back. But yeah. So yeah, KD is winning his options depending on what Kyrie say. Um Kyrie says uh, like the list of teams that Kyrie said are like crazy. Uh because like if you don't know, like Kyrie makes a lot of money. These teams can't sign him, so it has to be a part of a signing trade. It was teams like the Heat, Mavericks, Sixers. Well, Sixers is kind of crazy though. Sixers, uh Knicks, um, la and like the clippers and like is this is like Kyrie. what's like like what's going on like can you just thug it out with kevin durant and then i like, just imagine Kyrie leaves then we have then kd's like all right i want to trade now what now what is the kd trailer like? i can't even imagine what a kd trailer like and like um yeah but for Kyrie to list out those names uh what well, like, those teams uh it was like somewhere expected like i i expected the knicks i expected both the la teams clipper and lakers because especially the lakers the lakers have been like the, like the hot topic uh like he's probably going to get traded or assigned whatever it is to the lakers so yeah that would be interesting to see but then there were teams like uh the heat which like, i was surprised as a heat fan i'm like like do i really want Kyrie? maybe but i would have to see like, what this trade looks like and then it was teams like a team that really surprised me was the 76ers now why would Kyrie want to go and follow what james harden did and go to the 76ers and for that to even happen like like does that involve or like does that package involve like tobias harris and like matisse style and like like some picks or something like i'm pretty sure that that's like like that's what that would involve but uh yeah like there's still no on like what james Harden is gonna do so like but just imagine uh Kyrie, Kyrie and joel and b but if that happens then i'm gonna be surprised it's like why is he like it's like why did james Harden go and then why did Kyrie go like like why the sixers so that surprised me uh Knicks, i would love to see Kyrie in like a Knicks uniform i think everybody would uh one of the flashiest most uh talented players in the, ever in like the biggest stage like in the world i think that'd be dope now would the knicks be better when you add Kyrie, yes uh but the big topic you know the lakers it'd be it the, the, uh, the trade would have to be russell westbrook then i get like the lakers are really trying to get rid of talent horn tucker which I think it's definitely funny because like just like a year or two ago, Lakers fans were like, no, we need to keep Talon Horton Tucker. But yeah, so the trade would have to be Russell Westbrook, Talon Horton Tucker, and like some picks. Like something like that. Like like I believe. But then that'd be Kyrie teaming back up with LeBron. And and like I think I, I, I think that would actually work because LeBron is still dominant. Kyrie's still really good. Uh what do you get out of A D? I mean Hopefully he's uh, hopefully he's healthy, but yeah, that's pretty much for Kyrie. And then just imagine Kevin Durant really leaving. Like I'm not saying like KD really said like his decision is based off of what Kyrie, but we know Kevin Durant and Kyrie have had this planned out to play together for like a while now. So like when they picked Brooklyn, it like Brooklyn had the max spots. Uh, we all saw Kyrie talking about two max spots, two max spots. We saw that happen. So for them to get here. It only be what like what is it their second year together maybe third year together and like not like like prove anything uh it's kind of crazy because like they were really like trying to team up together and they, they've had little success uh, like yes injuries and then kevin durant wearing the size 
18 but like it's like it's like y'all were trying to do this and then everything with Kyrie I'm not really blaming Kyrie for uh if you know you know but yeah it's just like it's just like what it's like what's really going on in the organization like like James Harden wanted to go there when he saw Katie and Kyrie's team up James Harden gets there doesn't want to be there no more what happened okay Kyrie has the whole thing if you know you know comes back Kyrie looks decent he looks decent they don't get no success now all of a sudden Kyrie is is like he's weighing his I'm like he like he wants out uh, like like if he can't figure his contract out he hey he's he has a list of teams want to get traded to and then Kevin Durant talking about he's weighing his options it's just like it's like if if Kyrie leaves and Katie leaves and this like this duo or like uh, Kyrie and KD or the big three with James Harden, KD and Kyrie has to be one of the biggest failures, one of the biggest disasters we've ever seen. Because like that was, uh, like that sounds like a duo or, or a trio that was destined to be great. But a year and a half later, look what's going on. <laughs> like it's, it's really crazy out here. But what does a Kevin Durant trade look like? Uh, like I've been seeing a lot of people talking about um, uh, like a Suns trade. But like Katie's under contract, so like he can't just leave. He'll have to request a trade. But then like a uh, like a lot of people were saying maybe the Suns, but I was like I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, people were putting like packages like DeAndre Ayton, uh, Mikel, and like three first round picks, which is yeah. But it's, I don't think Katie's leaving at this point. I don't think Katie really cares. I think Katie just wants to hoop, and I think he wants to stay in Brooklyn. But yeah, like what does a KD trade look like? If y'all got some trade packages of Kyrie or KD, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, man, that's it's a lot of drama going on. So I, I hope they figured it out soon because I really like I, I've been a big advocate that I I want to wait till next season. I cannot wait the next season to see Ben Simmons, hopefully KD and Kyrie because I think that that could be like the best team in the uh, in the East if they stay healthy. That's all I'm saying. Don't fight me, but I, I believe like that could be really really good. But yeah. Uh, if y'all enjoyed it, as always, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know y'all opinions on the whole situation. What's going on with K uh, KD, Kyrie, Ben Simmons, the whole Brooklyn organization. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking. But yeah, I'm catching this video. We out of here. Peace.